Yes, come to my little indoor garden I have here. I'm going to be preparing a nice, interesting pork chop dinner. Just picking some fresh basil. Just getting ready for tonight's dinner. Got a little bit of prep to do. I have two very nice pork chops here that are going to be baked and stuffed. And I have to do my seasonings for the chops first. So I'll be making that up. And we'll go from there. Some sea salt. Cracked black pepper. Time. Just sprinkle quite a bit in. Very good. I want to put some smoked paprika. Put those. And regular paprika. Those are half tables, tables, teaspoons if you're watching, wondering. And I just want to give this a mix. I want to see what it looks like. I go by luck. I don't know what it look like on the meat. Very good. I want to add some cornmeal. So this is going to be a dryer up and I'm going to be patting it on. I want a little bit of crispiness to my meat. I'll mix in some brown sugar, that much. Get it down a little bit. There we go. My dry rub. And now I've peeled a carrot, and a piece of celery, some sweet onion, and I have some frozen Brussels sprouts, small Brussels sprouts that I had in the freezer. So I'm going to prep these up for the dish. This will be going inside my chops. Chopped up, nice small pieces. It won't take as long with the bake. The sweet onion, I've cut in half. Time to prepare the pork chops. All right. This will fill my roaster. So let's, I prepared the seeds for my rub. I'll put that on. Both of the out. Let's not forget. Taking a piece of meat off. You know, some flavor cubes, not a problem there. Okay. Wanting to make a dinner all in one pan. Have my meat, have my vegetables. And this bakes and the carrots and all that will caramelize and produce their own sugars. Moving on, more to this. All right, the next step I'm doing, I've taken what I was using for the pork chops, chopped it up smaller. I 
pick some fresh basil for my little indoor garden. I had some frozen broccoli, some frozen peas. So I'm able to just take small amounts to choose of having some frozen in the house. And scalloped potatoes. So I've got meat, vegetables, many types. Today I'm putting together a complete dinner. But the secret is, and I've never done this, is I'm going to do it all in one dish. This will take uh, water, so it's going to have to bake a while. Of course it cooks down if my chop is and my vegetables are cooking. I want that to blend into the water that it takes for the scalloped potatoes to cook. And I'll be cooking my vegetables. So, I've got, I think, it's going to be a very interesting dinner. Alright, next is the preparation of the potatoes. My water just finished boiling, which I need. Alright, this is what I'm thinking. of the meat to go in. The water will bake down, be absorbed into the potatoes. The recipe calls for some milk. Okay. Tablespoons of butter. The sauce that comes with. Let's get a look. We haven't been talking, but you already see it. But I doubled the water, vegetables, potatoes are in. This is the cheese sauce. And just work it in the water a bit. Okay, looks like I'm making a roast. That's a big piece of meat, this pork chop. The oven is preheating right now. I've got it set at 400 and I think about um, a good half hour. We'll be taking a peek at it again. Oh, my good looking dish. Into the oven you go. And we're at 400. I'm going to take a look at you as you cook. Just taking a peek after if the buzzer's gonna go off, beep, that's 30 minutes. Look at the juice. Lots of cooking to do. Very nicely. Continue to bake, cook the juice down. Resetting timers as well go back in. But let's just a note. Like the instructions just on the scalloped potatoes is to bake at 400 for 35 minutes. With the amount of fluids I put in. Other than I doubled the water. And that's 35 minutes. And I doubled the water, added much more food. So yes, it's going to take longer to do the bake. But it is coming along beautifully. It looks so bountiful. Getting the crust I talked about. But what I'm wanting to do. For the finishing bake. And just. Some of this more underneath. For the last bake. Aroma. It's like when you pour a fine bottle of wine. That's what cooking is like. The aroma can lead you. You're doing well. 
go back in the oven for an easy 20 minutes. You know what? Curiosity, you must be as well. Look at the meat. It's cooked up nicely. Very nice. No dryness. This is baking it a bit, but I want that crust. Time to go back in. All right, just come down to the last few seconds. Take it out of the oven. Mmm, mm, just tasting that. The crust is phenomenal. Cooked up so nice. That's one stuffed back in. Let's just take a peek at the amount of juice. And I'll put it in for a button. I feel so blessed. I feel very blessed. Oh, look at to be able to have this. Such good food is a blessing. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Hmm. Couldn't even wait to sit down. That is so tender. Beautiful. These baked vegetables. Sweet. Beautiful seasoning, not dried out, nothing's dried out. Mm. It's just not a scallop potato anymore. All men. I am truly thankful. God bless everyone. I hope you enjoyed.